Welcome to the homework for lesson 19. This is module 3 of grade 3. Write your name first. And we're using disks to complete the blanks in the equations. So here we're looking at ones disks. They're labeled with ones. And we have three rows of three ones. Well, you can count them. That's 9, so 3 times 3 is 9. And now we have tens. The same exact array, but it's labeled with tens now. So 3 times 3 tens is 9 tens, but 30 times 3, that's each row is 30. That's how you get three thirties. That's 90. And that's just thinking of counting tens instead of just, just changing the unit. Use the chart to complete the blanks in the equation. We're going to keep doing more of these. So here we have two rows of five you may recognize 10 frames i hopefully two by two rows of five ones is 10 ones two times five is 10. two times five tens is 10 tens two times 50 right because each row is 50 that's 100. and we have five rows of five ones you can count it five ten fifteen twenty twenty five 25 ones, 5 times 5 is 25. Now, if these are tens, you still have 25 of them, but they're tens. And if these are all 50s, right, because each row, each one of these is a 10, and each group of 5 is 5 tens, it's 50, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And these 50s, if you don't believe me, there's a hundred, that's two hundred, and there's a fifty, so it's two hundred and fifty. Twenty-five tens is two hundred fifty. And you probably notice well, the twenty-five. A lot of times, even teachers will say you just add a zero. But you're not really adding the zero, because what happens when you add zero? Nothing happens when you add zero. So don't say you're adding zero. You're not really adding zero. What you're doing is you're changing the unit. You're counting tens instead of ones. So now we're going to match. And the way to do this, I think, is to just write the 6 times 2 is 12. So I'm going to look for a 12. Okay, there it is. 6 tens times 2. Well, 6 times 2 is 12. This is going to be 120. The same thing. We're counting tens instead of ones. It's going to be 120 instead of 12. We'll match that. 7 times 3 is 21. There's the 21. And if we're talking about tens, then we're going to have 7 tens. That's going to be 210. And that's over here. 70 times 5. Well, think 7 times 5 for that. That's 35, right? So, but if they're tens, then we're going to have 350. There's the 350. And 3 times 90, think 3 times 9, which is 27. But if it was 27 tens, it would be 270. And if you're having trouble, making that connection of counting 27 tens uh, and getting to 270 with that, then think about this. 27 is 10, 10, and 7, right? Well, if you're talking about, if you're talking about tens, ten tens is the same as a hundred, and this ten tens would be a hundred, and this seven tens would be seventy, and now you can see one hundred, two hundred, seventy. So it might help to look at the digits that way and think about it. If you if you're just having a hard time making that connect, making that transition from ten from ones to tens, it might help to think of it think of groups of ten like that. Each classroom has 30 desks. What is the total number of desks in eight 
classrooms model with a tape diagram all right here's our tape diagram oops we need eight classrooms one two three four five six seven each classroom is 30 right so this is a classroom there's 30 desks they all have 30 And this is, we need to know the total of all those 30s. So our equation is going to be 8 times 30 equals our question mark. And that's the same as, think of 8 times 3, that's 24. So that's going to be 240. Our answer statement. There are 240 desks in eight classrooms.